Hey everyone, I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North and in this video I'm going to be going through probably the most important part of the video editing process that of course is how to cut and trim your videos. So trimming or cutting your video clips together is hugely important. This is what will essentially bring your entire film or video together. So in this video I'll be guiding you through the different tools and techniques in Premiere Pro that you can use to get started, start trimming your videos in no time at all, as well as giving a few little extra tips along the way. The first thing that you really wanna consider is making sure you cut video with the right timing to engage your audience. When trimming video, always remember that timing is everything. Where you choose to cut your clips and the order of those clips is largely what determines the overall mood and feel of your entire video or film. This will also determine the story that you wish to tell and whether or not you can keep your audience engaged or not. Therefore, hugely important. Whether you're cutting videos for social media all the way up to large feature film, there is a few easy steps to get started in Premiere Pro. So let's open it up and we'll get trimming. Of course, to get started, you'll need to open up Premiere Pro and start a new project or open up your existing project. You'll then need to import all your video clips. For me, I like to do this via the project panel down here on the left. You can simply double click here, then locate where all your media is stored, import and you're ready to go. When it comes to trimming your clips, there's a few different methods you can use when working on your sequence. You can trim your clips on the timeline for a much wider view of the overall edit, or you can also use the trim mode in the program monitor for a closer view that allows you to do frame by frame trimming. I'll go through these in a sec. Whichever you decide to use, you've also got two main ways to trim a clip. You can trim a clip so that the whole video project is shorter. Shortening the clip will shorten the whole video. This is called a ripple edit. Or you can move a cut by shortening one clip while you extend the next clip, essentially trimming two clips at once. This is called a rolling edit and you will keep your overall project sequence the same length. Before we do jump into these different ways of trimming, there is a few useful things you should know. The first one is that you can lock any tracks that you don't want changed while editing the rest of your sequence. This is extremely useful, especially for tracks like music or audio that you don't want to be adjusted when trimming your other clips. To lock any track, simply click on the padlock icon on the track. Once locked, no changes can be made to that track while it is locked. Another useful one is enabling or disabling the sync lock for a track by clicking the toggle sync lock. When the sync lock is turned on, it will always be turned on by default. Clips will stay in sync with other clips on a track while you're ripple trimming or inserting new clips. If you turn this off, like I will show you here, you can see this audio file will remain in the same spot where everything else is moving as I make a ripple trim. If I turn that back on, you can see if I do the same thing again, it is going to move with the rest of the tracks. It's also important to know that clips will often be linked together. So if you bring in a video file that also has audio, it'll be on two separate tracks, the video track and the audio track. Now these files will be linked together automatically. So any changes you make to one will automatically be made to the other one, as you can see here. However, you can turn this off so you can adjust them individually. You can simply disable the link selection in the timeline panel. By clicking this link selection button at the top left of the timeline panel, if you turn this off, you can make individual adjustments to those clips. If you turn it back on, again, they will always remain linked together as you make adjustments or trim your clips. So let's look at how to trim video using the timeline. Once you have a few clips on the timeline, you can see you can make adjustments at the start or beginning of these clips by simply clicking and dragging at either end with the selection tool. As you can see, when making adjustments to the clips on the timeline, the clips you're adjusting will appear side by side in the program monitor up the top here. This helps you decide on the content you wish to use by showing you the last frame of the clip that you're trimming and the first frame of the next clip. If you make an adjustment with the selection tool like this, you can see a gap will be left on the timeline. You can close this gap by right clicking and selecting ripple delete, which will close the gap by moving all the following clips to fill that gap. But you can also edit and not leave any gaps at all by using the ripple edit tool and the rolling edit tool. 
To use the ripple edit tool, you can use the shortcut B or simply click on the tool. With the ripple edit tool, you can see when you shorten a clip, the rest of the sequence will automatically move to fill that gap. Keep in mind when using the ripple edit tool, this will shorten the overall length of your video sequence. The other option to trim is the rolling edit tool. If you still have the ripple tool active, you can simply hold down command on Mac or control on Windows. You can also turn on this tool by selecting the rolling edit tool here or by using the shortcut N. This rolling edit tool will keep the overall length of the sequence the same, adjusting two clips at the same time. It will shorten one and extend the next by exactly the same amount. So this is handy if you have clips lined up later on and you don't want to shorten your overall sequence. Keep in mind if one of your clips is already at the very start or very end of its length, you won't be able to trim in this way. The other method you can use to trim is using the program monitor in trim mode. This is much better for more precision cuts. To enter trim mode, simply double click on the endpoint of the clip and that'll open up trim mode in the program monitor. Using the program monitor like this gives you a much larger area for clicking. To adjust both clips in the program monitor, click between the clips and drag to adjust the length of both at the same time. You can also switch between ripple and rolling trimming in the program monitor by holding down the control or command key as you click. The benefit of using this method is that there are also precision adjustment buttons beneath the footage, allowing you to trim one or five frames at a time. To exit trim mode, simply click anywhere on the timeline and you can go back and preview your work. So there you have the different tools and techniques in Premiere Pro so you can get started editing your videos right away. I hope you did find this video really useful. I'm TK North. Thanks so much for watching.